This is the overview vignette from the RSI3 package demonstrating the control of Cytoscape 3.7.0 from within R. The vignette begins with installation, if you haven't already installed RSI3, and then a quick ping to make sure that Cytoscape is up and running. The vignette then creates a network from a data frame, which is a common object type in R. The data frame specifies nodes, node attributes, edges, and edge attributes. You'll see those reflected in Cytoscape. You can set one of the pre-made styles, or you can define your own style. This chunk defines default values for a number of node and edge properties, and then mappings for node labels, node fill, and for edge width. Another common network type in R is the GraphNel network object. This demonstrates um, the conversion of a GraphNel object uh, to Cytoscape using the create network from graph function. In the same way, with a data frame, you can add or load table data onto a network. You'll see additional rows added to the network table in Cytoscape. And then again, you can set uh, default style information using these handy shortcut functions. You can also um, get information about node shapes uh, that are available and set those. Node color mappings based on node attributes and node size mappings. You can select nodes, and the default return is an object that includes a list of selected nodes and selected edges after the function is completed. You can also ask for the name of the selected nodes. You can select the first neighbors of selected nodes and get their node names as well. Clear selection, saving the Cytoscape session, exporting images. These are all covered in the vignette. You can also um, get uh, the list of all the functions that are available in this package. And finally, some commands to open up the Swagger API documentation for SciRest and for Cytoscape commands. RSI3 takes advantage of both of those APIs.